Yes, I am beginning to simp with this character. I have started my own shelf dedicated to her. The simping has begun. It can't be stopped. It's self-sustaining now. I actually had a dream where I headbutt Shinobu in the stomach the other night. Hi, former president Jerry Seinfeld here. We're gathered here today to do a review of Shinobu Kocho sitting down version from Sega. Before I get started with this video, I want to ask you guys, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I will love you for about five minutes and then I will move on. Cringe. Let's move on. Anyway, here we have the figure and overall, it's not too bad. I did review a Sega Shinobu previously and that figure was pretty good for the most part. The face sculpt was a bit weird. And this time around, I do think the face sculpt is a little bit better. Anyway, we're gonna take a close look at the face first and again, I think it's not too bad. It does look like her for the most part. Uh, still looks a little bit off, but for a price figure, it's really not too bad. Uh, I like the paint apps that they had have with the uh, eyes there, yeah, with all the different shades of purple going up the eye. I still don't know how that works, but it's anime, so it works. Anyway, here we have the uh, butterfly hair piece on the back there, which in my previous review I called it a flower hair piece, which, yeah, I'm a complete fucking moron. I'm sorry! There's nothing up there. Just fucking references to stupid movies and uh, hentai. But it's nicely painted, nicely detailed, not too bad. Anyway, moving down, she is sitting down. <laughs> Looks a bit weird looking at it head on. It's a bit of a creeper vibe, but <laughs> that's just me. Nice specks of white all about. I need to stop using that clip. But yeah, it goes from pink and green, just fades very well. Not too bad with the paint apps, I'd say. Anyway, she does have a sword there too, by the way. Yep, research purposes, there's up the uh, coat. She's wearing pants, so it's not that perverted. So. Legs, they look like legs. And there's her flip-flops, by the way. Again, that's all painted. Even has the purple on the uh, bottom of the shoe, on the bottom of the flip-flops there. Nice attention to detail. Wait, here's some size comparisons. So overall, it's pretty good. I still think the Balm Presto one's a little bit nicer, but uh, this one's an improvement over the previous one. So... How long are you gonna do this for? Okay, bye. <laughs>